Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between mountains that hugged the sky and rivers that whispered secrets, there lived a wise old monk named Zento. Now, Zento wasn't your typical monk. He wore mismatched socks, enjoyed a good laugh over a cup of tea, and had a knack for telling stories that left you pondering for days. One crisp morning, as the sun played peekaboo with the clouds, a young boy named Taro stumbled into Zento's tiny cluttered study. Taro was a bundle of energy, always on the move, but today his tiny brow was furrowed with questions bigger than the mountains themselves. Zento, Taro began, barely catching his breath. Everyone keeps saying time is precious, but why? It's not like you can hold it or see it, and why does it always feel like there's never enough of it? Zento chuckled, his eyes twinkling like the stars that blanketed the night sky. Instead of answering right away, he invited Taro to join him on a walk through the village. As they meandered through the cobblestone streets, Zento stopped by a stall selling hourglasses, picking up one with sand as blue as the summer sky. Taro, Zento said, flipping the hourglass and watching as the sand began its dance. Imagine this sand represents the time of your life. Each grain is a moment, slipping away, whether you notice it or not. Taro's eyes widened, fixed on the flowing sand. But before he could say anything, Zento was off again, leading them to the edge of a serene lake. He picked up a smooth stone and handed it to Taro. Throw this into the lake, he instructed. Taro, puzzled but intrigued, hurled the stone into the water, creating ripples that spread further and further until they kissed the distant shores. Just like those ripples, every moment in time creates an impact, seen or unseen. The value of time, my young friend, is not in holding on to it, but in what you do with it. It's the smiles shared, the kindness spread, and the love given. And sometimes, it's just in the beauty of watching ripples on a lake. Taro pondered this as they continued their walk, the sun now playing a symphony of colors as it prepared to bid the day farewell. But Zento, Taro finally said, how do we make sure we don't waste it? Zento stopped, turning to face Taro with a gentle smile. Ah, that's the secret, isn't it? It's about choosing to be present, to live fully in each grain of sand, and to appreciate the ripples we create. Time is the canvas, and we are the artists. What matters is the art we choose to create with it. As they made their way back, Taro looked up at the sky, now a masterpiece of hues, and felt a sense of peace. He understood now that the value of time wasn't in trying to capture it, but in living it fully one precious moment at a time. And so, with mismatched socks and hearts full of laughter, the monk and the boy continued their journey, leaving behind ripples in the sands of time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Your support helps us create more stories that bring wisdom, peace, and enlightenment to your day. Share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below.